I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. We're making scrambled eggs and bacon. Well, I'm going to handle the bacon, which is basically kind of like when we just did the sausage. You just stick it in a pan and you let it brown. It's pretty simple. But Kenny's going to tackle the scrambled eggs. So, um, like I said, you just take bacon. In this particular case, I've got thick cut bacon. And um, we're going to put that in the pan and it's going to brown. And um, I'm going to throw it again. I got the recipe for scrambled eggs right here in page 76 of my brother Tony's Betty Crocker <laughs> Young Boys and Girls book cookbook. When did he get that? Kid? My brother Tony won this on June 14, 1973, his, his first prize in a stride bake-off for making a tuna casserole. That was delicious. And we've had it in our family ever since. But not for breakfast. I'm very proud of the meals we made in this cook, like, like polka dyed macaroni and cheese and chocolate chip cookies and pizza and, yeah, and cocoa fudge cake. Palooza. Yeah, we had the pizza palooza. I'm very proud of the recipes we made. And, and Connect the Dots was when we made the polka dot macaroni and cheese and then the, the shot of cookies. Mm hmm. Connecting the Dots, we called that. Yeah. That's exactly what I said just a moment ago. Oh, I must have missed it. Sorry. Nobody's perfect. That's true. Least of all me. So, anyway, we're going to let these go ahead and um, start cooking and then. Kenny's going to start scrambling eggs. Hit it, Ken. Well, uh, I hope you all enjoy this. I hope so, too. I suppose I'm supposed to crack it over the pan here like this? That's a great idea. You want to put a little butter in that pan, Ken? I will. Or I can't believe it's not I vegan. I'm not used to cracking eggs, you Normally know. Normally you put this in first. All right. Before you crack the eggs. May I have a knife, please? Certainly. Here's one now. A butter knife, even though it's not butter. It's like that. It's similar. That should be enough, don't you think? Yes, I think that's fine. That'll do nice, very nice, thank you. You know what Liberace used to say, too much of a good thing is wonderful. I've seen him in an episode of Batman and also seen an episode of The Bump Muppet Show. It's impossible to cook. And he, was at, sequence. and he was at WrestleMania 1 back in 1985. He was really? there. Did he wrestle? No, he was a timekeeper. Do oh, you have your fork so you can scramble? Where is it? And is the burner on? we got to turn it on. Which one? That one. No, you, on had the you had it. You had it. I'm on the right. Yeah, right front. So... In most cases, what you'll do is you'll put the butter in the pan first, then you'll crack the eggs, and the pan will be preheated. So Kenny's kind of just shown you exactly what not to do when making scrambled eggs. Like, well, what not to do is uh, get a shell in there. That's true. A shell in there would be disastrous. Two would be even worse, right, Ken? Little shells. Yes. And then we'd have to call you Shelly. So where's the whisk? Oh, it's right behind you. See? Well, you could whisk away. And I'll get out of here, guys. So you come down. Are you sure this will come out scrambled? Yes. You got to just keep scrambling. Periodically. Well, you know, curiosity killed the cat. 
It did, didn't it? Whoa, the conversation just took a turn there. <clears throat> Back in 1981, MTV, the MTV Music Television came out. The range and the start of the age of rock video came out. And when people were on, people would be able to watch videos. That's true. Rock videos with different artists, you know. Then the very first video ever shown on MTV was Video Kill the Radio Star by the Buggles. Yeah, you can pause occasionally. I mean, you don't need to constantly do that. Just wait until it starts cooking a little bit. No and problem. I'm going to enjoy my orange juice, which is wonderful to go with all of these breakfast. It's for dishes. nutrition. It's a healthy drink. Even though they say they has acid, it's not so bad. Yes, it's good. a good kind of acid. I suppose. Not like the kind that they would throw villains into on Scooby-Doo or something. Right. S these villains would disguise themselves as ghosts and monsters and they're required to scare Scooby-Doo and the villain. And they're criminals. They steal something. So it's up to Scooby-Doo and his friends, Fred, Daffy, Bella, and Shaggy to solve the mystery and okay. put all the clues, by putting mm. all the clues together, you know, and finally they figure out who the criminal really is underneath that mask. And it was always done with flour. Just a person with flour all over them. We should save those stories for when we bake something. Because then we could be covered with flour. Now see how it's congealing, Ken? It's toasting very fast now. It's lovely. The eggs are cooking pretty fast now. Yeah, see? That's how it happens. And our bacon is slowly starting to bake. See, look at that, Ken. Beautiful. You could use this, too, if you want, instead of the whisk. Or if you're really attached to the whisk, you could stick with the whisk. That's the nice thing about breakfast. You don't have to be fully awake to enjoy cooking it. You know, yeah, and you know how about women were known to, or men were known to slave over a hot stove? No, I don't. They were. Hmm. Known to slave over a hot stove. That's it's what you're doing right now, Ken. You're slaving over a hot stove make a delicious breakfast for our guests. Anyone can do it. Yes, if Kenny and I can do it, anyone can do it. It's almost ready to plate. It depends on how runny you like your eggs. Yeah, you can have them over easy or sunny side up. Yep, or you can have them even scrambled. There's variations, you know, because you can have yeah. some that Eggs are... can be prepared in many ways, and also there are hard-boiled eggs, too. Do you want me to take that off the burner for you? Thank you. It's my pleasure, sir. Let me scrape it out of the whisk here. Yeah, better turn off the stove. I'm thinking we don't want to sear ourselves. Right. Nobody wants to get burned. No. It's just not done. All right. So here's the scrambled eggs, which Penny has so meticulously maintained. They cooked rapidly under the under high. Yep. That's all we needed to do. So, I didn't have to black wait so long. You can use the same pan and put the bacon in the pan that you use to cook the eggs if you want. And then just go from there. But that's up to you. Scrambled eggs. Very easy, very simple. So here's the bacon in, in its raw form. <laughs> but soon it will not look anything like this. It's pretty big. Yes, it's, this is big bacon. I'm used to smaller bacon, you know. Well, this will get smaller, don't worry. You can go ahead and uh, take the bacon out and you're going to put it on a, a plate, a plate with a... Um, paper towel. Paper towel on it, and that's going to saturate the fat, so you don't want all that fat in there. Some, of these, some people like their bacon almost raw, some people like it really, really, really cooked. We're going to go for medium. Yeah, we don't have much choice, do we? No, we don't. Time is of the essence. We, you know, we're starting the day off right, so we have to get on with our day, right, Ken? Uh, but I need to rehearse for the Willy Wonka play. I know, you do. That's what we want to do. We we're giving a second part of the script, I, I heard. Really? Monday night. Yeah, uh, every Monday night I check out WWE Raw, and I've managed to meet some wrestlers on there. For instance, like Jerry the King Lawler. He, He'll be on the 25th anniversary this coming January 22nd, the day after, the week after Martin Luther King Day. And two days before my birthday. And two days 
after Paul Stanley of Kiss's birthday on the 20th. And it'll be the WWE Royal Rumble as well. For the what first time... It's so royal? I don't understand the royal thing. I'm not really sure at all. Hmm. Anyway, so there's the bacon. Ta-da. For the first time ever, they're going to have an all-women's Royal Rumble, which includes the WWE Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair, daughter of the nature boy Ric Flair, who called himself the dirtiest player in the game. And is he indeed the dirtiest player? And John Cena tied Ric Flair's record by winning the WWE Championship 16 times. You want to soak up all the fat on the bacon. That's the secret there. And if, as you let time pass, they'll, they'll get a little bit crispier. And then you can enjoy that with your eggs. I'll just put the ones that are kind of crispy here with the eggs. See where did that fork go? I don't know. You must have ran off with the spoon. Very funny. Typical. Just like cutlery. Here's the fork. Enjoy. I'll try it. Okay. I still like mine golden brown and crispy. No. But this will have to do. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Excellent well, taste. Next we're going to make pancakes. Hope you all enjoy it.